What's up, turned up techies? It's your man Reed Young here in downtown LA. We're chilling with my man Robert Vargas. How you doing, Robert? I'm doing good, man. All right, Thank man. you for nice, having me. Nice meeting you, man. Um, so before we were talking about a little bit about yourself, can you tell a little background of growing up about inspiration you get from painting? Um, I'm born and raised here in Los Angeles, uh, specifically Boyle Heights. Um, my, uh, my influences growing up were, uh, were not really artistic. Okay. Um, actually, I, you know, I have my, my drawing and painting heroes like everyone else. However, my, uh, my real influences came from set design and fashion and okay. cinema. Um, you know, everything from, uh, from like musicians and, and of the like, just creatives, okay. uh, not necessarily uh, artists. Okay, and I noticed, uh, you know, when you're doing your art, everything is organic. You like everything to happen. Whatever happens, happens. So, I wonder, how did you come out, come with that inspiration in terms of creating everything organic? Well, I think that there's a uh, there's a conception uh, or a conceptual kind of uh, thought process that goes into my creative process. Um, so it's not always kind of going in blind. However, um, the the uh, maybe the subject uh, model is uh, is kind of uh, picked randomly. However, maybe the 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 pose or the idea or the rhythm of it all it, it kind of uh, there, there's a thought process to it. Um, I've I've never actually considered myself a like, the live painter. Okay. Um, my kind of uh, approach to painting live is just really making my creative process accessible for the people. Um, turning, say for example, you know, this corner into my studio when I paint, when I painted this mural or, or when I create something on the ground where I'm working um, in a different format. It's all very much uh, kind of part of my vocabulary as an artist, just a different language. But, uh, but making art accessible and painting live where people can be a part of the process, um, sometimes that intangible goes a long way because if they can't afford the piece, they can take that experience home with them. Of course, of course. So I wanted to ask you, our show is about turned up tech and we're talking about art. So what kind of uh, social media or anything used technology-wise to promote your art? With the advent of Instagram and Twitter, um, these uh, kind of, um, image conscious of course one of the things i we talked about before was you being in charge of your work being independent having that freedom but also working with big corporations so can you tell us about things that you have done uh, lately that have been working with corporations um well for example this mural is uh, currently in a worldwide mini cooper commercial um, it's also in a uh, Comcast commercial, a Chevy commercial, um, and uh, was uh, being considered for an, an American Idol kind of opening spot. And the meal is not even a year old, um, but I think it's also a testament to the um, to its its connection with the community, its connection with the city, and its ongoing dialogue with the community. Um, that both the mural and I think I have, it's all kind of synergistic. Of course, uh, of course. It's all one. So, um, you know, I've done uh, several different things. I also just did something with, uh, with Disney and uh, Neff, who I'm also developing a, a clothing collection for. And um, uh, uh, Star Wars, uh, we all kind of collaborated a few weeks ago for uh, May the 4th really kind of challenging but exciting uh, fun thing to do that, that engaged the uh, the viewer um, Star Wars fans are really uh, really awesome you know I, I personally I don't trust anyone who's not a Star Wars fan so <laughs> I'm digging the shirt um, so it was a cool experience and a, a great collaboration uh, to team up with such a, an amazing global brand like Disney and Lucasfilm and um, who knows what the future holds with us uh, right now the Two stormtrooper images that I painted. One hangs in the Neff offices, and one hangs in the Disney offices. Oh wow! So uh, it's pretty cool. 
That's awesome, Robert. I wanted to ask you too about uh, the future for artists. Um, if you had some uh, knowledge to give to aspiring artists, what would you tell them? I think we all, um, as artists, really like uh, control our own destiny and have the ability to shape the way a city's history is written. And um, you know, your your voice as an artist is so is so powerful. What upcoming uh, events you have uh, for us? Um, I'm about to endeavor on several uh, murals, which I, I think are going to also change the landscape of the city here. Um, one is a four-story mural, which I'm actually going to be painting right across the street. Okay. And then another uh, mural is uh, a six-story mural okay. over near Figueroa and Ninth, um, which is a really important corridor. And then, of course, uh, a 14-story mural, which is going to be the largest mural on the West Coast. Oh, wow. Um, which uh, I will be painting alone. So oh. that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm going to hang on one of those window washer kind of stages. <laughs> Wow, I'm gonna that's get my awesome. Spider-Man on. <laughs> that's your Spider-Man on. Yeah, okay. but that's that's gonna be really exciting. I also have a um, a solo show at Bergamot Station in Santa Monica coming okay. up in July. So a r really exciting summer coming up. Okay, so is there a, a website or Facebook you have that some people can follow you on? Sure, um, Twitter and Instagram. It's uh, the Robert Vargas. Okay. And uh, Facebook is simply Robert Vargas. Okay, all right, cool. Robert, yeah. thank you so much. I appreciate it. Cool. Listen, folks, that's it for our Turned Up Tech. I'm your man, Reed Young. This is Robert Vargas. Please check him out. He's an upcoming artist. Been down here in downtown LA. We appreciate him doing the interview and doing the painting. Going back to the studios to Neil. Take care, guys.